Sturgeon to keep COVID rules indefinitely Scotland under lock and key while England free. Nicola Sturgeon has told universities to draw up plans to return to online learning, as Boris Johnson unshackles England from COVID rules. The Scottish First Minister contrasted Mr Johnson's push for freedom by preparing to keep pandemic rules in place indefinitely. An advice note sent to higher education institutions by the Scottish government warned COVID safe behaviours must continue to be observed. It said face coverings must continue to be worn, one-way systems imposed and preparations made for a rapid switch to partial or more general online learning should that be required. The fresh guidance was issued after concern that students were abandoning face masks and had started to ignore instructions on where to walk. COVID rates have rapidly dropped in Scotland and across the rest of the UK. Scotland saw 5,307 new con coronavirus cases registered yesterday a 75% drop compared to the 21,425 registered on December 29th. Hospitalizations also continue to fall with 89 new admissions with the virus and 1,051 patients in hospital in total with the virus. There were no new COVID deaths within 28 days of positive test recorded yesterday but fatality figures on Monday are usual unreliable due to a weekend lag. While the SNP-led devolved government is continuing to urge COVID restrictions be imposed, on Thursday England will lift all remaining legal requirements including the need to self-isolate if you have the virus. The lifting of rules was laid out as part of Mr Johnson's long-term living with COVID plan. Restrictions pose a heavy toll on our economy, our society, our mental well-being and on the life chances of our children, and we do not need to pay that cost any longer, the Prime Minister said yesterday. So let us learn to live with this virus and continue protecting ourselves and others without restricting our freedoms. He added evidence for ending COVID restrictions in England is amply there in the scientific evidence. Scottish Tories have urged the SNP to follow Mr Johnson's lead. They criticised the new guidance issued to universities saying that the institutions should be planning for a return to normal. During the height of the pandemic, online learning was the only viable option, but it was far from ideal for many students, Pam Gossel, the party's university's spokeswoman, said. Throughout the pandemic, young people have lived under harsher restrictions and endured them for longer. The SNP government should be helping universities and colleges re-establish a sense of normality in students' learning experience, not issuing strict diktats. A spokesman for Universities Scotland said, as the risk posed by the Omicron variant recedes and society largely reopens, We'd like to ensure that Scotland takes a proportionate balance between public health and in-person access to education and the wider student experience. We see considerable levels of other harms, including the impact on mental health, within our student community as a result of nearly two years of disruption to their education. Thank you for watching our videos, subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we post newest videos. Thank you and goodbye.